quickly. Whenever you guys think of a limit, I want you guys to think of what's written right here. You should write this down verbatim. How do the values of a function f of x behave when x approaches a number c, or some number? Whether or not f of c is defined. So, yeah, write it. Um, it it's that important. That is what is, a limit is. And so if you ever think, okay, what is a limit? It's... Yeah, you asked that question. It's this. How do the values of the function f of x behave when the x approaches a number c? So to illustrate a limit, uh, we have a graph right here. Um, and here's, here's our function. Um, the way you would write, like if we were trying to find the limit here, let's say the limit as x approaches 0. This is how you would write it. You would say uh, the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x. Sometimes a problem is just give it to you like that. And that's how it's worded. That's how it looks. f of x could be anything. It could be an actual rule. They give you a rule like this. This is sine x divided by x. Or they can say, find the limit as x approaches 0 of f of x, and they only give you the graph. I like graphs because I'm very visual. Okay, so um, in this case, they, uh, I'm, we're looking at both because I'm just trying to help you guys understand what a limit is. And so you can also write this like this. The limit as x approaches 0 of x divided by sine x. Wait, did I write it wrong? Yeah, I wrote it wrong. Okay, sorry, you got to flip it. Sine x divided by x. Now, when you actually plug this in, or if you actually graph this, okay, I, I, I just graphed this in Desmos and got this uh, cute little uh, line right here. And then um, I, I traced the line so that we can see this point right here is actually undefined. And that makes sense, too, if you look at the rule. If I plugged in 0 right here into this, I would have a 0 on the denominator. Actually, a 0 on the numerator, too, because sine of 0 is 0. So I'd have 0 divided by 0, and that is undefined. You cannot divide by 0 ever, 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 ever. When you try to divide by 0, you get undefined. And so when we look at our graph, we see it. Look, there's a hole right there. There's a hole in the graph. All right, so <coughs> what is the limit as x approaches 0? Now, to find the limit, you have to go from both ways. Um, you have to go from the left-hand side and from the right-hand side. Actually, I probably should draw the arrows on the x-axis because you're, going, you're approaching it from both angles. And your question is, what is f of x becoming when you get closer and closer to x equals 0? f of x, keep in mind, remember, that f of x equals the y values. Um, or you can think f of x is the line. So I can say it like this. What is the line approaching as x is getting closer and closer to 0? And you could do what we did um, in the last section. You can actually plug in a bunch of numbers that get closer and closer to 0, to, zero, to this limit right here, uh, to find out what the limit is. And just keep like, plugging them in to see what it approaches. But since we have the graph, let's just look at the graph. And so as this line is getting closer and closer to 0, x equals 0, what is it approaching? Yeah, it's approaching 1, so this would equal 1. That's how you find the answer to a limit problem. So we just did this graphically uh, by just looking at the graph. If you wanted to do it numerically, which sometimes, depending on the problem, you must do it numerically also, you're going to have to plug in values to, uh, to x to see how close it gets. And so pretty much you can just make a value uh, x, y table, and then um, since we're trying to get closer and closer to 0, Let's go from the left-hand side first. We can go uh, negative 0 0.1. And then what would be the next number that's closer? 0 0.01. Right? 0 0.01. And then if I want to get any cl it, it, even closer, I'll go 0 0.001. Right? Yeah. And what you would do is you would plug these in to our function, and then you'd get, to get a bunch of y values right here. And then these y values, you'll notice, start approaching 1. Okay, which is what we can see on our graph. If we're going from the right-hand side, we would have to do this. We'd have to go, um, let's see, 0 0.1 would be positive. And then to get closer to 0, we'd go 0 0.01 and then 0 0.001. And we'd plug in all those numbers. This is how you would do it numerically, which is still kind of annoying. There's, uh, there's other ways to do this, but we will get there. We're just looking at the concept of a limit. This is what a limit is, coming from both the left and the right.